Hey folks, I'm Jay Barino, and this is StarCraft Insurrection. We're heading into Mission 3 of the Terran Campaign. Jack's back. Jack Frost is in charge. <laughs> His name is Jack Frost. I, I want everyone to think about this. There was a meeting sometime, maybe around 9.30 a.m., 10 a.m., where at least two to three people sat in a room together and someone said, let's name this guy Jack Frost. And the other two or more people said, you know what, that's a great idea! No questions asked. Jack Frost is in charge as him, you must destroy all rebels. I do want to point out, I actually went back and replayed that last mission just to make sure that I wasn't missing something. I tried to rescue the prisoners first, and then I left a prisoner on the beacon, and then when I took my ghosts back to find that informant guy, the second he was done talking, the mission just ended in victory. So I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. I think it was just slightly broken. I don't know, but I did my due diligence there. Jack, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. <laughs> Too long. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I've called you here because I need your help. I've retired, Bill. You know how I feel about the Confederacy. <laughs> this isn't for the Confederacy, Jack. It's for the people of Brontes IV. Before you say no, I think you should see something. Our agents recovered this data disk from the rebel encampment. No longer shall we have to suffer the torment of our oppressors. No longer shall they squeeze the very life's blood from our hearts. Brothers and sisters, the time has come to rise in arms against the Confederacy. The time has come for us to break the shackles of tyranny. Our saviors shall descend from the skies. We must open ourselves to them, and they shall lead us to salvation. Join us. Join the Feast of Redemption. So you called me here for this crazy prophet with a bad promo disc? You're losing your touch, Bill. <laughs> he might be crazy, Jack, but he's gathered quite a following. And there's more, Jack. Something else we found in the installation. Zerg. You mean what he was talking about on the disc was... Yes, Jack. But that's madness. <laughs> that's why I need your help. Why not call in the Confederate troops? This sounds like something more than the militia can handle. I tried that. I requisitioned reinforcements. I only got a unit of ghosts. The Magistrate refused to send any further support. A surprise assault under your military genius is our only recourse. Every day we wait, the threat Rose, you have complete command over the Brontes IV militia. All right, Bill. I'll play your game for now. <laughs> Jack Frost <laughs> is a military genius, you say? <laughs> Let's just go. What a dream this is. I love every rock, minute rock, of this. Rock, sir. Let's show him we mean business. Why... Does everyone in this in this campaign sound like they live like they're mountain folk? They live in the mountains, and they kidnap and murder women. Because that's what they all sound like. It, it's ridiculous. Um, oh, look at big old Jack Frost. Oh, he's a first sergeant this time. Let's pump up that game speed a little bit. All right, I got I got to remember you can you can hotkey buildings by themselves, but you uh, you can't rally directly onto minerals, and you can't select more than one building at a time. So these are all things you got to take into account. So destroy the rebel command center. I, I have no words for Jack Frost. Uh, he he sounds like he he I'm retired. I've been I've been living in my parents' basement for the last 20 years. But you know, if you ask me, I you know I'll come back into the service. This is, uh, you, yes. you got it, Bill. I'll, uh, I'm coming out of retirement for you. I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that voice actor is the same person that that was the uh, the ghosts from the last mission. I already forget what they're called. There, I just want to put them out of my memory because they were they they scare me. I'm going to wake up in a cold sweat imagining Jack Frost uh, whispering into my ear with those creepy ghosts like standing in my doorway behind him. Oh my word, what a dream. You know, I'm really just going to focus on getting some Marines. What kind of tech do we have available here? Well, barracks, so tanks. Tank Marine, always a great option. So yeah, you can't rally out of the minerals, so I'm just going to rally my SCVs sort of off to the side here, and then uh, every time I come over and take a look, 
I'll hopefully grab them and, and put them on minerals. So I gotta be careful with good old Jack Frost because he cannot be healed. So uh, actually, I think he's someone I'm just gonna throw into a bunker. Though, uh, really, I would say Firebat's especially poor against Terran just because I think they're considered small units, so they take a lot of damage versus vultures. Oh, never mind, there's Zerg on this map. I thought we were destroying... Uh, are they... I mean, I don't think the, the enemy Terran are allied with with the Zerg, right? I mean, maybe they are. I don't know. I'm going to put them in... I'll put them in a bunker, all right? I can only make a bunker, though, once this, uh, once this barracks is done. And we'll go ahead and throw down this refinery. I got to relearn some of the hotkeys. A lot of them are the same, but not all of them. It's too bad that, that good old Jack Frost, when you click on him, doesn't have his own unit reactions, because that would really be a dream, let me tell you. i got to keep track of how many SCVs I have on mineral patches at a time, and also not get supply blocks. So this is my first macro mission back in uh, StarCraft 1. And uh, it's a thrill. Every minute is a thrill, let me tell you. Okay, and I don't want to get supply blocks, so let's go ahead and queue that up. Supply block, or er, not getting supply blocked, uh, equally hard in, in StarCraft 1. And also, supply depots seem to take up a lot more space, so it's a little frustrating uh, finding room to put them all. Anyway, I'm going to keep making these. Uh, I'm going to get an academy soon, too. That's 150, isn't it? I believe it is. And it's A. That's about what I expected. It's also weird not seeing the uh, the highlight of the building that you put down. It's just uh, it's just weird to get used to because I haven't played this game for quite some time. But hopefully I'm not uh, a total scrub at it. It's okay. So Marines are not A; they are M. That's weird. Okay, so we're also getting hit by rebels. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. He says. All right. Oh boy, this is a uh, this is just. A treat. You know, I I think if all the dialogue was removed, it's hard to tell about these missions. The last mission was just an endless maze of, like, empty hallways with random rooms that enemies would just be in for no reason. So we'll see if this is more of a standard... More of a standard, uh... Murder him? Okay. Murder, like, a standard macro map. Anyway, uh, we can get some bunkers here now, and then I'm going to get a factory so that I might get some tanks. Now, I believe that... Now, we don't have enough money. What did we lay down? Oh, we started making that supply depot. All right, that's fine. That's cool. Uh, make the factory up here, actually, so it doesn't block things. I will get a second barracks. I got to keep making sure I queue up more and more stuff. When you're done... Oh, see, I can't. you can't queue up anything building after that, so... Not enough money for a supply depot. I just want to make one right in the front here. Just like that. It's always a good idea to block in your, your stuff. And I'll put Jack Frost in here, too. Looks good. You can't really see... Yeah, just make it right there. It wasn't blocked or anything. I just decided to block it. I might want to put one more SCV on there, and I want to get marine range so that I can shoot around this depot. I'll get a second bunker. We'll see if we can make tanks. And once we get some marines and tanks, we'll push out. Granted, I have no idea what I'm up against. U-238 chills is U. I'm not going to remember that. I'm probably going to click on it from now on. Okay, and you guys just uh, hang out in the back. I'm going to get one more bunker, and then I'm going to get one supply depot slightly offset so that Zerglings flood in the middle of the two of the little opening, and I'll put another fire bat in this bunker. So, crap. Uh, we have no, no siege tanks, so I will make an armory so I can make some Goliaths. And we can just start checking around here. So it's 50. It's still 50. I thought for some reason it might be 25. It's absolutely not. Oh, boy. What a weird... It's just so weird playing this game again. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. It's a weird feeling to get back to this game after so long. Drop off your minerals. Everything has, like, a slight lag time, too, because this game is older. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to get that armory. I will go ahead and throw a fourth SCV on my refinery. And let's get an armory so that we can also make... Goliaths, so I just have to do like Marine and Goliath this this mission. I'm gonna get another barracks. Go ahead and hop in here, guys. I normally don't use fire bats at all. This is an exception, just because uh, if you leave a little opening, I, I didn't think Zerg would be on this map. Now that I know that they are, in retrospect, I should have built my bunkers at the top of this ramp. Oh well, now I know that they're gonna be flooding up this ramp. It doesn't matter. I don't have tanks. Here they come. So here's what they're gonna do. They're gonna run into these little crevices. And they're going to get smoked by Jack fucking Frost. That's right. Jack Frost coming at you. And then I'll also get an engineering bay. 
And, uh, God, it just seems like the buildings are so much larger in general here, so... I keep hitting A. Just gotta make more and more Marines. And I'm gonna keep scanner sweeping to see if there's an extra base for me to take. It seems like we got some good minerals here. I'm gonna make some more of this stuff. Don't, don't, don't get involved, alright? My defense can handle this. I might get some, I might even get some backup. Like a backup bunker, but it's really not necessary. Go ahead and hop in here, and I'll just start getting upgrades. Because I've got a decent defense, and I feel like I don't have much to worry about, so. Um, Marines. So I think the key, not the key, but what I'm going to try to do is have one barracks hotkeyed, so that when I double tap it, it'll take me to an area where most of my buildings already are. I think Vultures and Spider Mines are a good option. Vultures very, very good against small units. They do bonus damage versus small. And I want to point out that in StarCraft, there are hidden damage mo modifiers. So like uh, Fire Bats, they probably do 16 damage versus light, but it's actually scaled downwards if they're hitting medium or large. And the same thing with Vultures. It'll show their full damage against what they're best at, which is light or small, technically in StarCraft 1, and then it'll scale backwards. It's very strange. Um, so I would prefer if it scaled up instead of down, but it, it it doesn't. So Marines, and we can start getting Goliaths pretty soon. I guess what I could do is get a machine shop later and upgrade Vulture speed so I can reinforce with Vultures, but I don't know. That seems like too much of a, a hassle for me, honestly. Uh, let's just start scanning around. And we have nothing to lose by scanning like crazy, uh, unless they're sending cloaked units at me, which I would doubt, but who knows? I really have no idea what I'm up against here. I will get some turrets kind of around. Okay, and it's it, once, like, I can't cue him to do anything once he's done building. If I right-click this, I'm wondering if that's going to cue him over to that mineral patch when he's done building. Uh, Goliath is G. So everything seems to be intuitive in the sense that it's the first letter of what it's called, but at the same time, that's less, in, it's not as intuitive as it seems because it's in a weird place on the keyboard than what you're kind of used to. I think that the StarCraft II hotkeys are actually a little more intuitive, only for that, only because that way, um, like, Marine is A, and, I mean, A is the second letter in Marine, sure, but it's the tier one, very common unit you build, and it's A, it's where your hand generally rests on the keyboard. Unless you're a weird, I don't know, who rests, who rests their fingers on I, J, K, L? Nobody is who. Ah! Aha! I'm getting weird flashes of color, by the way. All right, get over there, guys. I had a slight suspicion. That's why I was like, I should make turrets. Uh, I, I didn't think, I really didn't think that this would be a part of uh, of here. I didn't know how many mutalisks they'd be sending. But either way, you guys need to get out of here and let my SCVs in to make some. To make some uh, fatty missile turrets. Missile turrets, not very good in StarCraft 1. In the StarCraft 2 turrets, they shoot twice, so they're excellent. But meanwhile, I'm just going to keep making a bunch of Marines. I've got the cache now. And I'm just sort of waiting for my scanner sweep to keep popping up so that I can push out soon. There's one small group of stuff here. I don't know what that's about. Uh, can we even get an SCV back here? These assholes are in the way. It's very deceptive, again, with the pathing. And there's no auto repair either, so keep that in mind. And uh, there's no there's no visible health bar, so you got to click around to see uh, what's going to be dead soon, basically. Are you not gonna you don't want to build back here? I mean, that's fine. I sent you over there, and I guess then you didn't want to build. Just go over there. You can make it. Good work. Okay, good job. And then we'll make another one. This guy's probably gonna get stuck. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, vehicle plating, and then plus one. So they have air units. I have no air units. I mean, that's... I shouldn't really complain about that. I'm not even going to get Stimpak. I think it's terrible unless you have medics. I mean, it's good in multiplayer. There's so many things I'll say are terrible, but we're playing single player, keep in mind. So. All right, you're group one. Make some more Goliaths. We can't afford them yet. You guys will all be group two. Whoever can fit in these control groups. I'm just hotkeying random groups, but there, there's really not much strategy to how I'm going to be hotkeying this and that, honestly, because it's just Marines, Fire Bats, and, uh, and Goliaths, so I just really, again, there's really no method to the madness here. We're probably going to get two to three control groups, maybe four, well, we already have two. We'll probably get th uh, three to four, maybe even five control groups. Here comes the next group, and I'm just going to keep scanning around. All right, just start repairing SCV. No problem. Okay. It doesn't seem like the enemy attacks are getting in much harder, but I don't know. i got to be a little careful. Uh, once we have enough stuff at home, I want to make sure that I have enough uh, to stay at home, too. I mean, I can keep building stuff. Just to make sure that I don't get completely overrun. As you saw, only one 
bunker was able to shoot when the Terran attacked me, which is not good. I will keep making turrets over here. Turrets are only 75, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. But again, they're worse than they are in StarCraft 2. Please move, SCV. Thank you. These guys are going to get stuck. They're just going to be there for their whole life. Oh, well. Okay, and this is going to be group 3. Almost group 3. Give me one more person. Thank you. So you're group 3. Down to group 3, and then... I mean, this is just straight up... This is just straight up make, up make a lot of stuff. Like, there's no tank crawl. It's just make a bunch of units that you have to A-click with, because that's what, that's what you're stuck with this map. I mean, I'll make some fire bats, but they're going to die. I'm just going to say that now. I'll make one or two of them. They're, they're not really much more... I mean, they only cost 25 extra gas than marines, and honestly, they're about 25 gas, gas uh, worth less than marines, I would say. They're not, they're not really actually worth more despite their price. Just waiting for these upgrades, and then... Mm, I never queued that up. Whoopsies. Okay, that's fine. We're fine. Uh, don't have really enough money here. It's hard to tell how many SCVs are good here, because I only have got well, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like, I could probably have more SCVs here, but it's very hard to tell, because uh, you can only box 12 units, so if you have more than 12 workers, there's no way to tell how many you really have, because they're constantly overlapping, and it's it's just challenging to, to figure that out, so. Okay. So we'll get a couple more Goliaths. And our up that upgrade is done. Our Goliath upgrade is done, I should say. So we'll queue up one more, and then we will be ready to go, I'd say. We'll get one more fire bat. Yeah, never mind. We're supply blocked. That's a, that's a signal that it's time to go soon. So we'll get it up there. You come over here and get back to mining. And I have to remember to always check back to see if I have, if I have SCVs that I've built that I have to rally onto minerals. Okay. So I gotta say, one thing that's great about the Mass Recall mod is uh, all the buildings are scaled to the size that they were in StarCraft II. So like supply depots, I feel like take up less space than than these depots. And I think they made the right choice of not letting you sink them into the ground because that's a little more authentic. But uh, they're just in general a bit smaller. So I'll take it. Okay, so we're slowly building up this asshole. We'll get. I want that fire bat. I still want that single fire bat. Uh, we haven't been attacked for a while, so the next time we get attacked, then I am going to, then I'm going to push out. Okay, and then we'll, it seems like I, I, if I right-click the minerals while they're building, then they actually do. You, it is kind of like queuing that up, which is interesting. Right, so you guys are group four. I think it's time to go. Even though I just said I was going to wait for the next enemy attack, but let's go. I'm not one to wait. All right. I mean, you also can just box the crap out of your units and just just try to box everybody, which is basically what I'll probably end up doing. Lead with the Goliath, all right? He at least can be he at least can be repaired. Poor Marines. Microing is challenging too without health bars. Again, it's a it's a harder game. It's just a harder game in general. Oh, look at those wraiths! Good, they don't cloak. That would be a nightmare. Okay, great. We lost three, four, five units. Not a big deal. So. All these stupid units, they can't get down the ramp. They're so dumb. Right, come on over here. I feel like I've probably overkilled this map already. Uh, make some Marines at home. Just to, like, be ready to rally stuff up. And still, this Goliath. Like, if one thing gets stuck on a ramp, they're like, Ah, I gotta go another way! Ah! And clowns. All right, so we should be... I'm gonna hop to this guy. Scanning around. Okay, that's not the right way. That's not the right way. This seems to be a way. That is a large... Not a large Zerg attack, but that is a, a base that I could take. The goal is to destroy the Rebel Command Center, which seems to be in this direction. Okay, let's go. Okay, no problem. Yes, just kill the Overlords, too. So, can we get up to their base easily? Is there a ramp, or is... Or is this the only way to go? I don't have a scan. I'm going to attack up here. And we'll see what happens. Everybody just attack up in this direction. And we'll, again, we'll see what happens. Now, you have to be careful when you auto-attack across the map. Because your units will always sort of route into this giant single-file line. And by doing that, you're splitting your forces a lot. Until they start reclumping up again. Alright, they do have spider mines. And I... 
am able to kind of kill them. Firebat, you are you are my check for spider mines guy. Alright, Goliath, calm down. Calm down, Goliaths. Alright, I see a ramp, and again I assume that the enemy base is up here. Check for spider mines. There are none. Oh my god, what are you what are you doing? Stop it! Okay. Everybody needs to calm down. These people are clowns. Okay, and then we, we're going to have to... I mean, stop moving in StarCraft 1 is also much more challenging. Because e there's a slight lag to, like, every action you take, and the units are stupid. So trying to attack move up the, up the ramp is challenging. So the best you can do is just auto-attack, and then move your units up the ramp so that they don't block everything else like this. That's the best I can do as we just slowly move up with other stuff. All this poor stuff at the bottom of the ramp is, uh... Is, is can only hit like 60% of the time. The scouting party got this far? This is where they got? They got really far. Good lord. Okay, well I just want to take this ramp right here and then I'm going to get my units up here. Kill that asshole. You guys move on up here. The question is, is there anything up here or is this just like a bastion of... There was nothing up here. I destroyed that just to kind of get by this area. Not but I saw energy. the fire bats rallying from there. So maybe I'm going to make more marines. And we're going to rally onto this marine. And we're going to send everybody up to reinforce. Because they're sending their units from back in this direction. So, it's, I mean, the zerg attacks don't really scare me that much. I've got missile turrets over here. And then my little fire bat defense is, should be fine. So we're going to make more goliaths. Busting up ramps is actually rather challenging. You just have to give yourself sight, and your units on the low ground miss, like, over 50% of the time. So you have to try to get units up the ramp, but those units just get absolutely slaughtered because they're slow. They just don't react quick enough, so it's tough. It's very tough. Otherwise, like StarCraft II, I would stop move. I can't do that, so... You know what? Get the fire bats rolling. StarCraft One fire bats so bad in single player. I assume you would make uh, fire bats in multiplayer against like Zerg players. I feel like that's probably a really good choice, but I honestly wouldn't know for sure. All right, the enemy base is certainly over here. There's like another enemy holdout position right here that I have to go destroy, I'd say. So you guys come on down here, and if I can just bottleneck them on their own ramp, they won't be able to do shit. So the only goal is to destroy the enemy command center. It kind of seems like the Zerg are sort of protecting them in a bizarre way. I mean, we, what does that remind us of? Enslavers. Uh, but I don't think that this ragtag group of rebels, these damn yokels out here, have like a siamid or anything like that. They just like, they, they're like worshipping the Zerg, which is interesting. Uh, but I really doubt that they can do shit. Uh, they might just want to hang around the Zerg, which I have a feeling is not going to turn out too well for them. But I don't know. What is his name? Atticus Carpenter or something like that? Okay, so we'll move on up here. God, I love Jack Frost so much. I hope that he is the true hero of this story. Fucking Jack Frost. Okay, so let's head on up here. Move up in this direction. I will auto attack using the mini map so that I can keep so that I can keep selecting things. Should I even bother destroying this this outpost? Wait, maybe it's over here. Or is it over here? Which side? Which side is the right side? I think I'm gonna go with right because I s actually saw other I saw other buildings up here, but I don't know if that's correct. I think I have more than enough stuff, but it's just again we don't, we, we don't really need to be strategic here because honestly we don't have any units to be strategic with. It's just a bunch of it's just a big death ball of units. So we'll just keep pushing through this. Of course they're gonna have like 20 fucking bunkers or something like that. I don't get it. You guys keep going on up here. Okay, and we don't have a scan. Big fire. Oh my god, that's that's a that's a decent amount of stuff over there. Yes, lure them, lure them into the choke point of the bridge. We can get a nice little concave here. The AI is pretty good. They're like dropping on me and stuff. Okay, it's time to auto-attack across this bridge and kill their production. If this is where their production even is, I really have no idea. Or if they're going to have, like, more bunkers and stuff like that. you got to be careful when you select, because uh, if you miss a unit that's kind of on the bridge, then they, uh, 
Okay, keep making attack. Marines and keep making Marines. And then you're going to rally up here and you're going to rally up here. Because if a unit on the bridge gets stuck, then all of your units behind it will just get stuck forever. So, like that Marine who's just standing there, he's blocking a precious access point on the bridge. They're just pumping units out like crazy. Kill the barracks. That Goliath is blocking everything. Okay, now that we're across the bridge, I suspect we're okay, but... Why do they have so many supply depots? Oh, they, they they came from behind? Oh, God. Okay, we need to stop rallying. They're coming to protect their stuff with everything they have at their other base, it seems like. All right, flank them, Goliath. All right, you guys need to stop rallying. Stop rallying. Stop rallying. Stop rallying, and we're going to remake a bunch of Marines at home. There's the command center. There's the command center. Kill it, Goliath. Okay, I'm going to push in with this group right here. That bunker is empty because they emptied it to come out and try to fight me. I There don't seem to be any... Uh, there don't seem to be any tanks. There don't seem to be any other spider mines either. The SCVs aren't mass repairing or anything like that, so I'm pretty sure we've got this. We just need to wipe out this this building and we're done. Goliaths were definitely key here because Marines just die so quickly. Cool, and that was it. What a, a thrilling addition to the to the crazy roller coaster ride that is StarCraft Insurrection. Woo! Really taking the fight to the rebels with good old Jack Frost. Good to see him back in action, folks. Let me tell you. Thanks so much for watching. Let's go to the score screen, I, I guess. Take a look at this bad boy that we didn't get to see at the last mission. I like how, uh, be just because of the nature of StarCraft, the, the faction names are always listed here as, I think, what they normally are. Like, you can customize what it says here, Rebel Forces, but the Alpha Squadron Garm Brune, I don't think those are editable, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So it's funny to see Alpha Squadron, which is known for being an elite Confederate group at this point in time, being listed as Rebel Forces until, you know, I guess when they joined the Dominion, that would be fitting. But Alrighty, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.